going to have a look now at Michael Harding's Neutral Grey and compare it with Vine Black. Now the Neutral Grey is what it says on the tin. It's neither a blue grey nor a warm grey, it is very neutral. My palette has a slightly blue tone to it so I can see against the palette it's slightly warmer. Um, the Vine Black is a nice soft rich black and I'm going to try adding some titanium white and see where it goes, what kind of black is it. It's also looking pretty neutral. So I guess if you just want a grey the neutral grey is a great mid-value, could work really well for softening other brighter, more saturated colours. It's definitely a bit warmer than the Vine Black plus white mixture. This is giving me a cooler, slightly more purpley grey perhaps. Um, the neutral grey is looking a little warmer. So I guess if I'm mixing a cool grey, like I want a blue grey, I might find that a black and white mixture with some blue added would retain a bit more colour. But perhaps if I wanted something warmer, I suppose the neutral grey ought to go both ways. Let's try it. Let's try it with a blue. See what it holds on to. Yes, that's the idea of a neutral. I can push it in either direction. So there it pushes into a blue grey and it's a lovely soft blue grey. I'm using ultramarine which isn't the strongest tinting power in the world and it's it's okay. The grey is happy to turn blue for me. Um, if I try a bit of cadmium red light, see if we can get a nice warm, soft flesh tone grey. That's quite lovely, sort of pinky aubergine colour. And maybe it'll go for a yellow grey for us as well. Let's see what happens with that. Um, with a little bit of Indian yellow, see where we go, sort of a burnt yellow in there. Well that's quite exciting. Let's go on to a sort of mustard grey. So often for the base of a painting we're looking at a field of colourful greys and this is ideal. So as opposed to taking bright colours and working hard to desaturate them, I'm taking a grey and just pushing it towards a bit of red or a bit of blue or a bit of yellow. And they're coming out really lovely, it's all distinctly separate colours but all with a lot in common with that neutral grey holding them all together. And the vine black is a lovely soft rich black. If we try that with some Indian yellow, see what, what comes out. It's a beautiful olive green, really deep, lovely rich warm colour. That's great. And the vine black with red, see where that goes. Adding the cadmium red has made it opaque. It's got a, it's a really nice rich brown colour, red brown. And with blue, I'm not sure how much we'll see of the blue in there. Let's see what happens. very inky dark. It's like a deep indigo. Lovely. So much potential here for just making colourful neutrals. Finally I'm going to have a look at mixing these two colours with the new deep purple dioxazine purple that Michael's brought out. Such a rich colour. So a little bit of it here into the neutral grey gives a lovely cool violet. Just adding a bit more there. That's great. It's quite nice seeing it beside that blue-grey. And equally with the vine black. Let's try a little bit of the purple in there. Hard to see there. <laughs> That's gone very black. Just got a little bit of grey mixing in just to try and show what we've got. Incredibly dark. 
with a little bit of white in it just to bring up the colour you can see. That's a soft, deep purple there. Lots of fun to be had there. <laughs>